Hello, my name is John Price from Kenton Electronics and I want to show you our new socket upgrade kit for the Korg DV800. As you can see, we've fitted six sockets and a switch. Uh, in the up position of the switch, it's just a normal synth, the keyboard controls synth. In the down position, the sockets become active. If you plug into just the upper section of sockets, then those will control both the upper and lower sections of the synth. If you plug into the lower section, you get individual control of the two sections. I'm going to show you this first connected to a Pro Solo and then I'm going to show you it connected to a Pro 2000 afterwards so you can see the two sections being controlled separately. The sockets we've got on the back here are hertz volt, gate and filter. So any of our converters can be switched over to hertz volt setting. So here goes. As you can see I've got the Pro Solo here. I need to make a change to the default settings to work properly with this synthesizer. I need to change it to give out hertz volt which is parameter 15 on the front here change that to parameter 15 change that to hertz volt and store the setting uh, now I need to plug in the CV uh, connection this is go to the hertz volt on the synth CV on, on here the gate cable gate lead goes to gate and the last one the filter goes to the aux on the solo. If I now play this, you can hear it plays from its own keyboard. If I switch it down, it will now play from the external MIDI keyboard. Uh, I can also bend the pitch using the mod wheel on the synth. I can modulate it using the mod wheel. That uses the LFO that's built into the Pro Solo. I can also uh, do Portamento if I turn that on. Turn that off again. You've got sustain as well if you want to use that as a sustain pedal. So that's the basic functions using a Pro Solo. Oh, I'm back with the Pro 2000. I've connected the channel A of the Pro 2000 to the upper sockets and channel B the lower sockets and I've connected the filter of channel uh, of the upper to aux 1 and the filter of the lower to aux 2 and I've set them both on the same MIDI channel which is 1 in this case. Um, I, I need to make a couple of changes as I did with the solo to make sure that the channels are set to hertz volt. I've already set channel A to hertz volt and I'm just about to set channel B so we've got to uh, set volt per octave and just press that button there to change it to hertz volt and select it. So that should get us being um, mono synth now. Pretty much like it was with the solo. Both channels are playing the same. Incidentally I didn't show you the filter cutoff which you can control using a controller. Default CC16. So you've got control of the filter cutoff. If we want to try this polyphonically now, um, I need to change a couple of settings back here, put it into poly polyphonic mode. Um, I'll change that from regular cyclic to being reset mode. Select that, go back here to how many channels are poly, none at the moment. Uh, change that to be channels A and B. So hopefully that will play as a polyphonic. So we've got duophonic synth. Um, you can modulate it. Uh, bend the pitch. Um, and as I showed you before, you've got filter, filter cut off. So that's it working duophonically from uh, Pro 2000.